Okay, so some of you have asked me different ways I can use the sprinkles. Um, there's lots of different ways. We have warmers we sell, which are decorative, and I'll show you some in just a few minutes. And we also have simmer lights, which are their light-based warmers that use a light bulb. But beyond that, you can also use sprinkles to make candles. And we have a lot of different candle kits for pretty much any kind of um, mood you're in or any kind of theme you might want to have. We've got some hot stuff coffee cup ones. We have martini glass ones, brandy snifter ones. We have this one here, which was a specialty one that uh, holds an entire jar of sprinkles, okay? So you have two ways you can do this. One is you just open the jar and dump it in and you're done. It's that simple, okay? So here I'm going to take my glass. I'm going to put my wick in it. Now first, I want to make sure this is straightened. Da da da. Because I want it to sit nice in there. Now I'm going to put it in the bottom right there. And it's going to move around because there's nothing in it holding it in place right now. Okay, so there's the wick. Now I'm going to take my jar of sprinkles. This one is chocolate chip cookie. I am just going to pour that in there. Now that I have some sprinkles in there, I'm going to recenter my wick. Okay, so now I've got my wick recentered, and I'm going to finish pouring the jar in. in the bottom get all of those out done that is my candle now what I want to do to make sure that my candle lasts a long time is I want to settle the sprinkles so what that means is you're gonna take it and you're gonna tap it because you want those sprinkles to settle down together there is air all around these sprinkles and you want to make sure you get rid of that because if you don't your wick is going to burn faster and you're not gonna get as long a lasting candle as you do when you um, uh, make sure all the sprinkles are settled. So I always tap mine like this. I also press them down in there really good, pressing them around the candle wick. Okay, once you get that done and it's you're satisfied with how strong it is in there, then you wanna trim your wick. Your wick only needs to be a quarter inch above the wax, okay? That's gonna give you also a longer burning candle. The bigger wick you have, I mean, if you want a campfire, that's fine, it's up to you, but it's not gonna last nearly as long. So you always wanna make sure to trim your wick so it's a quarter inch above your wax and do that every time you burn it, okay? Mmm, smells so good. Now, this is a present good to go, all set for somebody. I can use a piece of press and seal wrap to put over this, or we do have our essentials candle kit that comes with lids, which is really kind of fun if you're doing a birthday party or something like that. And you want the girls to make candles. Um, they can do their own candles at your house and you can put that lid on. They can transport them home. Really, really fun. We have another size here too that's really, really popular. This one holds about uh, six scoops of sprinkles, gets you about halfway full. It depends how full you want to fill them uh, too because they do last quite a while depending on which one you get. I'll post some pictures down below that tell you how long each each candle is going to burn for, okay? Uh, this one was a whole jar of sprinkles I did, but there is another option. I can make mixes and make them into candles as well. Just like we talked about with the sprinkles before, I can totally mix and match and create a mix and put it in a candle. The other option is I can make a layered candle. So I could take, if I wanted to do, let's say I wanted to do three different kinds right now. So I'm going to take one of my favorites right now, uh, smokehouse bacon. And uh, I would do smokehouse bacon, blueberry muffin, and hot buttered rum. Some of those are from the old catalog, so they're not available anymore. But hot buttered rum and blueberry muffin together smelled like blueberry pancakes. It was really, really yummy. And then the, throw the smokehouse bacon in there and it smelled like breakfast. It was really good. So what I could choose to do is I could layer different scents in there. So it was a pretty blue, yellow, and red. Then what happens is as it's burning, you're going to get that first scent. And then as it gets past that, it's going to mix with the new scent layer underneath. Once it gets past that, it's going to burn just that scent and so on until you get to the bottom of the candle. The nice thing about soy wax, this is fantastic guys, okay? The nice thing about soy wax is it shrinks when it's cold, okay? Soy wax pellets shrink when it's cold. So once your wax is done, be it in your warmer, be it in your simmer light, be it in your candle, once you're done and you wanna change it out, take this, make sure it's cool, put it in the freezer for about 10 minutes. Tip that bad boy upside down and out is gonna come a whole container 
of wax. Now, if you have a narrow, narrower opening at the top than you do at the bottom, you may need to just break it a little bit with a knife. But it's going to come out clean and easy. There's no scraping. There's no scrubbing. There's no dumping hot wax. I love that. It makes it so much faster and easier for people on the go. And I know everybody values their time. Okay? So that's our candles. There's a whole bunch of different kits. They come in sets of three to six, and all of those sets include candle wicks as well. We do sell uh, refills on candle wicks as well, and they're very, very cheap. So if you want to continue to use your candle year after year, you can. It's totally reusable. The other thing is these are heat tested. These are safe. The stuff you get from the dollar store may not be, just so you're aware. We never release anything that hasn't passed our safety standards. So you know when you put a flame in here, it is not going to explode and cause a mess everywhere. I know I appreciate the peace of mind of knowing that my product is not going to fail on me. So let me know down below if you have any questions. I'll also post the page number of the catalog where all of the candle kits are so you guys can take a peek.